Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to a new randomizer, GoldenEye 007 for the N64. I'm personally more of a Perfect Dark fan, but this is the only randomizer that I know of that exists at the moment as of recording this. So let's do it, Double O Agent. We ain't joking around. Although, I have not played this game in probably 10 years. I've played Perfect Dark, and I'm really good at Perfect Dark, which is probably the harder of these two games. But this game, I'm gonna suck, man. I have the Silver PP7, and he has a ZMG, okay. Yeah, that's what this randomizer does. It randomizes the weapons you start out with and what the guards have. They also have a chance of having really powerful weapons like rocket launchers and grenade launchers. And they randomize scientists, positions and stuff. Like there could be a scientist where a guard normally is and vice versa. And also some guards are more powerful, which this is... Does he have the golden gun? I think he had the golden gun, dude. Good thing I killed him. I'm playing with a GameCube controller and I'm not used to that at all. I see this game and my mind and my muscle memory instantly goes N64. So this is really clunky to control for me right now. Not because it's dated, but because I'm playing with a GameCube controller. And I know that's kind of the standard for a lot of people because the N64 controllers are kind of rough around the edges. Oh, jeez. All right. I imagine the videos will get progressively better as I get more comfortable with the controls. Playing on Project 64 emulator as well. Had a little bit of issue at first getting it to run well. So hopefully there's not too much like stuttering or anything that could potentially happen. Alright, so far not so good. Definitely not <laughs> playing like a pro. This feels so weird. Like I'm my mind is thinking time splitters now because I'm holding a GameCube controller in my hands. So I'm thinking I could hold Y or X to duck, because I usually set it to that in that game. But there is... I didn't have Y and X active for anything. So it seems like these guys have the D5K and the ZMG. And occasionally there's a guard with a golden gun, which is... That! Okay, he didn't have it. But those are the ones that might have it. They're an example of one of the stronger guards. But I think that guy has always been there. gun is crap. I remember when I was little, I used to love this gun, specifically because Trevlin used it when he was still 006. Whoa, there you go. There was like a weird jump. I also, since it's been so long, I don't even remember how to beat these missions on 00 Agent. Like, I don't remember all the objectives. I definitely played Perfect Dark way more than this game. Which I know, for everybody else, it's pretty much the opposite. Some people never even heard of Perfect Dark. But... Oh, jeez. This feels so clunky, man. I, I'm just gonna let him be. The facility and the cradle were always my favorite levels. Again, probably because Trevlin was in them. I don't know, as a kid, I always liked him. Somebody's coming. Yep, see, I heard that door. You can't be sneaking that past me. Oh, whoops. I don't know, I thought for a second there he couldn't see me through the fence. I don't, I don't know why I thought that. I underestimated the intelligence of stupid AI. Oh, whoops, I knew you were there, dude. Shut up. Alright, now which way do you go to get to the computer? And which way leads to the other guardhouses that I need to go to anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, I'm gonna... Yeah, I wanted to play something, and I was debating something to play and some people have requested Goldeneye in the past but I didn't want to just play Goldeneye as it is because I'm not that great at it compared to Perfect Dark like I said so I figured a randomizer which thankfully somebody created a guy by the name of Giannis or Janice however you properly say that like don't they say in the Goldeneye movie don't doesn't uh, Pierce Brosnan say Giannis Oh man, good thing I was ready for him. Yeah, this is actually a lot easier than Perfect Dark. Because I remember as a kid, this little passageway being deadly. Especially on 00 Agent, I went the wrong way. Well, that's okay, I need to shoot the thing anyway. Great music, though. I do have 
plenty of fond memories of multiplayer with my dad. It got to a point where he just didn't want to play with me anymore because I, <laughs> I used to beat him so bad. Grenade launchers in the complex, and of course proximity mines in the facility. Hey bud. Whoops. What are you talking about? I can't hit a headshot anymore. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Come on, auto aim. Help me out. <laughs> God, I'm so bad at this. Well, you know what it is, too? The GameCube control stick is so good. It is like super sensitive. I'm not used to that. I'm used to... I don't know what it is, man. It's from 1997 to present day. My mind and muscles have been trained to play this game with a certain controller. That's like why I can't play Perfect Dark on Xbox Live Arcade. You can't give me an Xbox 360 controller and expect me to play that game. Holy crap, one of them has to have a golden gun. Ugh, he's got a golden gun. Oh, thank God, dude. <laughs> I think I remember reading they added... Remember in Perfect Dark, if you hold aim and then strafe, you can pop out of corners. It's like a little snap movement. This game never had that, but I think they added it into the randomizer. Which is awesome, because that's a hugely convenient uh, feature. I think we did it, right? Let's just get to the thing and jump off and go to one of my favorite levels of all time. I don't even care about the cheats, by the way, because... Like, I know the facility, what is it, under 205, I think, to unlock the invincible cheat? But that's not the point of this, this is just to see what the randomizer does. Which is awesome, because it kind of makes this game new again. In that, you never know what the guards are going to have, or what they're going to be replaced with. So that, combined with the fact that I just haven't played this game in forever, this could be kind of challenging a little later on. What? <laughs> I have a shotgun, and that's a scientist, so don't kill him. What? He has the RCP, dude. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, so... I think I remember... Get out of here! Okay, he had a key card. That's not normal. Normally, it's this dude. In the dick! Stop it. Okay. There's a dude over here. Holy crap, dude. This is awesome. Just, it's kind of like cheating in a way, depending on what weapon drops. He has sunglasses. I do like this, man. I remember back in the day, I used to use Game Shark codes in multiplayer. Because you know how in multiplayer, each character has one specific outfit? I used, there was a code where you could uh, change Bond to any of his story mission outfits. Hold on, where's, there we go. This thing is a beast. Somebody's shooting me. Who's shooting? I don't care. I will close the door behind me. The claw. What a garbage weapon. Um, doesn't one of these guys have another key card? Ah, oh, crap. Hold on. Use the strategy for getting the cheat. Even though it's way too late for that. I think I've already exceeded two minutes. Auto aim is not as good as I remember, but it's okay because I have this. Monster gun, dude. Where's Dr. Doke? David Duke. In the kneecap. There's more coming. I forget how many spawn. Because there was always that straggler. There's like two or three that come in, and then there's one straggling. Where is this dude? I hope he's not in the worst possible spot in that offshoot room that you don't have to go to. What the? Um, I guess he's a scientist. But that's what I was saying. There could be scientists that are armed with... They could have, like, the golden gun or something and be an enemy. This gun, if I remember correctly, is so noisy it triggers a whole bunch of people. 
Yep, it's time to go. Dude, thank God that guy has a clob. <laughs> oh my God. All right, here we go. Old school strategies. <laughs> Just let the infestation behind the door happen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, this guy is trying to be like Neo or something with those sunglasses. Open the door. Or wait, didn't I get the uh, key card? I did. Whoops. <laughs> what is it, two shots and then they pull out a gun? So you could only ever do it on double O agent because of the health difference. All right. You know, for not having any idea how to play this anymore, this is pretty easy. I think I still have a decent amount of health. But again, they have clobs, so that's why. What is happening? The C stick was not pressing for some reason. Got another guard scientist. I do not see Dr. Joe. There's that dude. Wait, there was this room. He was never in that room though. Dang it, man, he's all the way. Yeah, again, I can't even say that this is easy, because I have an RCP-90, dude. And I had a shotgun to start the mission with. I would love to play a Perfect Dark randomizer. I'm sure somebody's working on it. Maybe even the guys that did this one. But it's definitely good to see this game for the first time in, like, a decade. There he is. Take the bullets, man. <laughs> what are they doing? Are they just sidestepping up there? Oh, the clunky square shoulder animations, too. I used to crack up as a kid in multiplayer, because if you crouch and move, they never animated the footsteps. They did in Perfect Dark, but it was so funny to watch somebody on, like, the Player 2 screen and just hold forward while crouch because they don't move their legs at all they just kind of like shimmy along like a vacuum <laughs> and that for some reason that used to crack me up as a kid oh finally definitely did not get the cheat but i don't care i don't like pressing r instead of z on the gamecube controller either yeah, I used to replay this mission so much, specifically for this moment, just to goof around. Because if you actually wait, all the guards come in, just like in the movie. That was another one, just that outfit. You could change Trevlin's outfit to that with a ga uh, Game Shark code. I didn't forget to do anything, right? Sweet, six minutes. All right, the runway. What do we? What's our loadout for this? That's the Phantom, dude. Sweet. And they have shotguns again. Timed mines. That's normal, right? I don't know. It's been so long, man. I can't remember. And these were grenades, right? All right, maybe those stay the same. That guy had a normal weapon. The music in this game is so good, man. Man, jump in frames every now and then. Let's get the tank. Who's shooting? Stop it. Yeah, this moving is so clunky. I need an N64 controller, man. It's not the same. Get in the tank. Let's go on. I'm coming for you. Yeah, squish. Ah, <laughs> oh, this game is awesome. I missed. 
Don't be hiding in the little divot. Get over here. <laughs> Definitely didn't even run him over. Did this thing explode? I missed it. Dude, with the lob shots. Yeah, I heard the other explosion. We're good. Get over here. Gotta pull this thing up. And now this was always the hardest part of this mission. I don't even remember. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Stop it. Psh, psh. Come on! Okay, there we go. One more. Yes, it's not even shooting. I don't even remember where the front of the tank is. Okay, we did it. Where the heck is the front of the tank? <laughs> Controls! Get out of the tank. But no, I gotta get in the tank. There's like a huge army approaching. Going in reverse. Stop it. No, okay, hold back. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Don't run over the plane, though, whatever you do. Thank God, that wasn't so bad. I've yet to see somebody with like a rocket launcher or anything. I know it is possible. All right, what's next? I think... Oh yes, man. I barely remember this level at all. I know you have to find the open building that has a key. Then you have to go really far into like this barracks section. I have the golden gun, holy crap. And look at the texture, man. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. That is some garbage, early 90s Windows screensaver texture right there. Remember the little maze screensaver? Yeah! Ah, you walk right into it anyway. Another RCP-90, dude, are you kidding me? Remember the paintbrush code with the sniper rifle? Stop breathing, Bond! What the heck? That was... that was James Bond! That was the same outfit that... <laughs> That's funny. I used to always play as this dude in multiplayer. I thought he was so cool. And he kind of blended in with, like, the complex, which was one of... Next to the facility, I played that level the most. That's an empty house. I don't remember this, man. Wait, no, this is it. I do remember now. Get over here. Did somebody just try to shoot me with a sniper rifle? I have sworn I heard the little pew. Frankenstein. That face is always creepy. Wait. There it is, I knew he had a key. All right, so now we go back to that first house where the safe key is to get the plans. This gun's a monster too. All these levels are way easy thanks to these randomized weapons. Not complaining, just... Actually, I appreciate it a lot. Is it this house? It is. Okay, now the barracks are like way over. That's nothing. Did this level always have sniper rifle dudes? I ain't spot me. Yeah, in here, right? It's this building. Yeah! It's crazy the stuff that comes back to you, even after like a decade of not playing the game. Whoa! This is so much better than the Clob. Isn't that normally one of the weapons that's in this level? Ken Lob. He was involved, involved in a lot of stuff that Rare did. Makes you wonder why, though, they gave him the crappiest weapon in the game. Like, they named it after him. Alright, 
the bunker. Bunker 1 I always liked more than Bunker 2. Boris is in here. Ah, oh, jeez. Zoom aim. That's another subtle difference between this game and Perfect Dark. This game doesn't always have the cursor or your reticle on screen, which makes aiming a little bit more difficult. Disrupt. Okay. The cameras take a picture of the screen. That's right. The golden eye key. And then lead more as to the computer. And I think you gotta use a card, right? Um. <laughs> they have AR 33s. So much for stealth. Just run. Just run. Somebody has a rocket launcher. Stop it. Did he die? <laughs> oh man. Nobody? <laughs> Did you hear the guard sneeze? Kinda scared me a little bit. I like this weapon a lot, even though it's not so great. Dude, aiming! Security keycord and a rocket launcher. Keycord? Let's just spin in circles. Oh, this is awesome. I like playing this game. It's good to be playing this game again, I mean. Psh. Yeah, this is a dangerous weapon. I could see some other levels if all the guards mainly have this. I forgot there was two more. Okay. Did we get all the guys in here? Now we did. Somebody's right there. Where the heck did he go? He glitched out and started running into a wall, apparently. Ah, I was about to move and then it did some weird auto aim nonsense with the stairs. I love this song, man. I just love that subtle Bond theme. Uh oh, where's Boris? Did he run away? Does it does he ever run outside? I don't remember seeing an objective failed, though. Wow, these guys are blind. He normally has a magnum, right? In the vanilla game? Okay, well... I have no idea where Boris went, but let's do this stuff. Such a cool beat. I always like that the camera has the 007 on it. I used to always try to hide this in a weird corner. As if that would change the missions or something. Ah, how do you duck with the GameCube controller? Take me to the mainframe terminal. That was close, man. Unless he always just stands by the door. I can't remember. I don't know about you guys, but I'm one of the people who rented the GoldenEye movie because of this game. Like, I had no idea about James Bond, but I played this game, and then I wanted to see the movie, and I remember it was West Coast Video that I rented it from with my mom. And my mom always likes to talk about stuff to random people that, like, stories that don't even matter. Now, where's this thing, though? The data thief. Dude, sensitive control stick. But yeah, she was like, yeah, he was talking about, oh, what was it? The part where Bond gets in jail, and that's, like, not even in the movie. 
I don't know. I just remember like being embarrassed. Even though people who worked at video stores don't care about anything. Oh, I should have used the rocket launcher. Oh, a good thing. I think my health is low. Is there more? Victory shot. Sweet. Well, we're probably getting up there on time, so I guess I'll cut it off here before the silo is next, right? I love the music in the silo. But yeah, this is pretty fun. But I'll see you guys next time for part two. Thanks for watching.